that were hanging in my bedroom. There was plenty of wear left in them. Just a moment. Do you mean to say that the people of this neighborhood have seen my children wearing old curtains? Yes, they've become very popular. Everyone smiles at them. I don't wonder. They say, there go Captain Von Trapp's children. My children have always been credit to my name. But Captain, they weren't. They were just unhappy little marching machines. I don't care to hear from you about my children. Well, you must hear from someone. You're not home long enough to know them. I said I don't want to hear. I know you don't want to, but you've got to. Take Lisa. Lisa isn't a child anymore. And if you keep treating her as one captain, you're going to have a mutiny on your hands. And Friedrich, he's afraid to be himself. He's shy. He's aloof. He needs you. He needs your confidence. Don't tell me about my son. Brigitte can tell you about him. She could tell you a lot more if you only got to know her. Because she notices things. And she always tells the truth, especially when you don't want to hear it. And Kurt, he's sensitive. He's easily hurt. And you ignore him. You brush him aside like you do all of them. I haven't finished yet. <laughs> And Martha? Well, I don't know about her yet, but someone has to find out about her. And little Gretel? She just wants to be loved. Love her, Captain. Love all of them. They need you. Stop, stop it! You'll pack your things and return to the Abbey as soon as possible. I shouldn't have said those things. Not in the way that I said them. After you've gone, there'll be a return to order in this house. I won't have you running around the neighborhood making a mockery. I'm sorry. Singing. Singing? Who's singing? Your children. My children. Singing. I asked them to sing for Frau Schrader when they met her.
I don't know. Tell me about it, my child. Regina said that I was, and that her father was in love with me. And there he was. And we were looking at each other. And I could hardly breathe. Then I knew I couldn't stay. But you do like him, Maria. Oh, yes. Did you let him see how you felt? If I did, I didn't know that I did. That's what's been torturing me. I was sent there on God's errand. To ask the captain for his love would have been wrong. I don't know, brother, but I do know this. I am ready at this very moment to take the vows of poverty, obedience, and chastity. Maria, <laughs> the love of a man and a woman is holy too. The first time we talked together, you told me you remembered your father and mother before they died. Do you remember? Were they happy? Oh, yes, her mother, they were very happy. Well, Maria, you were born of their happiness, of their love. And my child, you have a great capacity to love. What you must find out is, how does God want you to spend your love? I pledged my life to God. I pledged my life to his service. My daughter, if you love this man, it doesn't mean that you love God any less. You must find out. You must go back. 